Welcome to LearnComputerScienceOnline.com, and, in this video, we are going to discuss an overview of the database design process and the significance of the database design skills for the software development professional. Database design is a crucial step in the Software Development Lifecycle, SDLC. Database is a crucial component of the software system. The databases are designed to support various operations crucial for the software functionality. Some common database operations include storing, retrieving, and manipulating the data. Further, the database design is considered a specialist job. It requires some specialist skills in terms of planning and designing the database and then actually building the database by using a specific database management system, DBMS. And therefore, database design professionals are amongst the highest paid professionals in the software industry. In this tutorial, you will help you learn an overview of the complete database design process step by step. This tutorial will also help you understand the database planning, designing, and the development process. Subsequently, we will dive into each step in detail in this series of separate video tutorial, considering the limitations of the video duration. All right, let us first start with understanding why database planning and design is considered a crucial step in the software development lifecycle, SDLC. Database design plays a crucial role in the software development. Database planning helps to ensure that the software system can efficiently and accurately store, retrieve, and manipulate data. A well-designed database can help improve the performance, scalability, and maintainability of a software system. Overall, a good database design is essential for building software systems that are reliable, efficient, and secure. It can also help reduce development costs and improve the user experience. But, before understanding the database design process, we need to be familiar with some frequently used terms, such as data model. The data models are simply tools used by the database designers to conceptualize and capture the design features of the database at various stages of the database development project. These data models are later used as blueprints by the database design team at various stages of the database design project. The database models make it very easy to visualize and communicate different design features of the database with the help of diagrams. All right, so now we are clear about what data models are and its purpose. Let us now move on to our main topic, that is, overview of the entire database planning and development process. The entire database planning and design process can be broadly split into two stages. The first step is the database planning stage. And, the second step, is the database building stage, using a specific database management system. Let us dive into the details of the first stage, that is, database planning stage. The first stage of the database design process, is the database planning stage. This stage helps the design team, to capture some valuable information, that is crucial, for the database design project. The planning stage is achieved, with the help of creating, two data models. These two data models are, first, the conceptual data model, and second, the logical data model. The planning stage involves activities, such as understanding the data requirements, for various stakeholders, and, creating the necessary data models. At this stage, the design team also captures information about, business operations, policies, rules, and procedures, that the database should support. The Entity Relationship Diagram, ERD, is an example of the conceptual data model constructed during the database planning stage. The conceptual database model describes the database view at the end user level with the help of simple diagrams that are not DBMS dependent. The outcome of the database planning stage is the logical data model that can be implemented using any database management system, such as MySQL. Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle, or any other DBMS. During the planning stage, the logical data model is another important data model created based on the conceptual data model. 
The conceptual data model is further expanded to create a logical data model. For example, for relational databases, the logical data model includes the details, such as database entities, represented by the tables, entity attributes, by the table columns, and by defining the relationships between various database entities. Let us now move on to the final stage of the database design and development project, that is building the database. After completing the planning stage, the final stage of the database design process involves building the database. The database is built using a specific database management system, abbreviated as DBMS. This stage is also referred as the implementation stage. In this stage, the database designers build the database by implementing the physical data model. The physical data model is created by expanding the logical data model. It includes some additional details, which are specific to the DBMS, selected for building the database. The physical data model is DBMS dependent because it contains the details that can be implemented only on the specific DBMS. All right. As stated earlier, the database design process is specialist job, and the design process is complex and quite elaborate. However, once you are familiar with the process, it becomes relatively easier to master each step of the database planning and design project. So, this was just an overview of the entire process, and subsequently, we will be discussing each of these stage in detail. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. Please visit our website, learncomputersciencesonline.com, to learn computer science online. If you have liked this video, then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon with another computer science tutorial.